Lockheed Power Station is one of many SSE hydro stations here in Scotland. It has two main generators. It's basically powered by water that comes off the hill. It's the last in a cascade of three, so it comes down from the hills from three different places up above it. The electricity it generates goes onto the national grid. Output-wise, the generators are 22,000 kilowatts. Back in 2012, we carried out an overhaul on the station due to some high vibration that was detected. The investigation centred around an issue with the stator core. This machine was built 70 years ago in two halves. They manufactured two windings in the factory and brought it up to the station and joined them together. And over the years, during service, it's created a lot of vibration. The aims were to replace the stator completely, the laminations and the coils, re-insulate the buzz bars and refurbish the rotor. What we've done is developed and designed a, a new core, which is a, a whole core, it's one unit, and this should cancel out all the, the vibration problems that they are receiving just now. The hydro station is actually in the highlands of Scotland. We're in the middle of nowhere. So the biggest challenge is actually getting materials here and keeping the guys here. We can't move things like the rotor. We would have liked to take the rotor away to get the coils and the cores off and everything but we had to do that on site, so that's had to be done in situ. It's a big piece of equipment, it's 60 tonnes, so we can't get a vehicle in big enough to move that off. I would consider it a normal project, but I would consider it a large project. It's certainly within our capabilities to run it from the branch here, but we do require support from other service centres for a project of this scale. The benefit of SALTS is having many service centres throughout the UK, they work together to support projects like this. So the local branch in Scotland is providing the labour and, and doing a lot of the refurbish work of the smaller parts and other branches can provide labour or materials such as coils and technical support. From Birmingham the support that we provided to Falkirk was we provided the design. So we did the electrical design, just designed the coils, looked at the, the rating, provided drawings for the laminations and vent plates and then the coal factory here provided the drawings for the coils and manufactured the, the full set of coils for the machine. There's 126 coils going into the machine, that was just what came out and that's what's going back in. There's more copper within there now, so the actual connections of those coils are different. 40 years of coil innovation has brought much more repeatable processes. The coils are manufactured and pulled out on, on machines that give the same dimensions for each coil, so there's less need for mechanical manipulation or movement of the coils during winding. The tapes are applied by machine, so the even tension, even number of layers. The rewind we've undertaken was to return it to the original output, but we, we have managed to offer SSE an increased power rating for their generator. Originally it was, it was wound with a Class B insulation, which is good for 120 degrees centigrade, and we've replaced it with Class F materials, which gives it an extra 20 degrees up to 140, which allows us to get more output out of the machine. The materials we're using and the coil design will give us a much better machine. It'll run a lot quieter, a lot more efficient, and produce a lot more electricity. We offer a full start to finish service. We have a client who just comes directly to one point of contact, which is myself on site, and then we give him the information and we pass that through. This is the job. We're dedicated to doing that and we will produce it. They have a question, we answer it for them, and they appreciate that.